Hello, thank you for the lurk hex, always appreciated. I saw you are playing Lost Ark, I hope you enjoy. Don't really know anything about that game myself. But I know a lot of people have been playing it lately. Alright, so, uh, first, check out all our Pokemon. Whoa! Um, the only permanent members are, of course, Bandit and, uh, Serenity here. Yeah, work does suck. Um... So, first things first, I gotta go collect me some, um, quests. Again with this guy. Oh, it's my most valued customer. I was just hoping you'd come by. Need new goods again? Yes, it's the same business all over again. Tahua just refuses to supply any new goods to me. I suppose you must be wondering why he refuses any time I try to deal with him directly. Well, let's just say he has his reasons. Please speak to Tao Hua for me, would you? Imagine you'll have better luck if you bring him some crunchy salt as a gesture of goodwill. Perhaps three hunks to be safe. I imagine that we'll get those in the next area we go to. Hmm, that's not, that's not quite right. It just needs that little extra something. Oh, just the boy I need. I can use some help coming up with new hairstyles. I've hit a real wall here. A Pokemon will be great for inspiration. Right now, I'm picturing, yeah, Mischievous. If I could study a Mischievous up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new styles. If you managed to catch a Mischievous, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? I don't think I have one. Um, do we have any new clothes? Oh no, new clothes, they show up in the next area? Okay, fair enough. You look like you need washing. Oh, what am I going to do? At this rate, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlon. Eh? Oh, hello. You're one of those kids from Survey Corps, right? Ah, you might actually be just the person I need to help me out with a little research. My boy Conlon and I are planning to head to Prelude Beach at night to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. The ghosts scare the daylights out of me. Or, my son. Yep, he's terrified of them. You'd think we could just not go and call it a day, but no, I'm afraid his little heart's set on this. But, er, you know, a fella can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic. For my boy, I mean. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you got any research data on spooky Pokemon, Ghastly would be a good one. I'd be mighty grateful if you'd share it with me. Oh, what do you find it on Etsy? Mushrooms, eh? Well, I'll be. It says here that Ghastly likes to eat mushrooms, of all things. Not that that's a bad thing, mind. It's just a lot more tame than I was expecting. And here I was thinking that ghosts love nothing more than to snack on unsuspecting humans. You know what's funny? I'm actually rather partial to a nice mushroom stew myself. Maybe Ghastly aren't so ghastly after all. Hey, Dad, what you doing there? Ah, Conlon! You talking about work again? Don't forget you gotta take a day off tomorrow. You promised to take me to see the ghosties at Prelude Beach, remember? Uh, uh, of course, your old dad remembers, kiddo. And I never let work get in the way of our ghost hunt. I'm really looking forward to it. Yay, I'm gonna catch a ghostie and show it to all my friends. Bye! You know, he was just putting on a brave face because you were here. Anyway, I owe you one, kid. I get the feeling my boy will be just fine tomorrow. Oh yeah, I've seen those, uh, the cloud cards and the talismans as well, and I've definitely been, uh, considering it myself for a while. Pretty 
Pretty sure one of the gym leaders has a hairstyle like this, don't they? Gardenia. Nice to see you again, Mr. Survey Corps. You got great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But there's some boulders sitting right in the way. If you lend us a Pokemon that can smash them to pieces with Rock Smash, we'd be mighty grateful. Um... Let's throw in a Rhyhorn. That seems fun. I can always get another one. Oh, uh, Krogunk would be cool, too. Nah, we could do the Rhyhorn. I don't think that's a... We can always change them out as well, so it doesn't really matter. Your Pokemon will be sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wowee! Your Pokemon pulverized those pesky boulders like they were yesterday's gravel. Now I'm all pumped up. Sick back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. And I'm all done. I take it that's the last upgrade. Okay, um, right, I need to go, looks like there's another request in there, plus I need to go talk to Haltua, Tauhua. Oh nice, I had, uh, in that order, don't they ask you for a water type? Because mine was Geodude... Um, Geodude, Psyduck, and then Rhyhorn. Yeah, Psyduck. Because it go, yeah, they asked for ground and then uh, water. And then Rock Smash. Gotta smash that rock like the subscribe button. The Sea's Legend. Oh. Ah, jolly good choice there, Polar. I see you've taken on that request I posted. Let me fill you in right away, then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out from the shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this. Mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to Cobalt Coastlands. This rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. Given the circumstance, I was thinking that if we spoke with the good Warden Ice Skin of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. I got your message, Professor Laventon. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Cobalt Coastlands, yes? Well, um, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the EC, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of this princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called The Sea's Legend, but no one knows much about it, either the tome or its tale, beyond what I've just told you. 
So uh, that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll um, I'll just take my leave here then. Hmm, interesting. I also need to start getting some of the uh, unknown stuff. Within the settlement, where time... Rules. Within the settlement where time rules. The answer to this quest is actually in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Do I have to freaking open that game again? I thought I was done. Ho ho, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles. Has choice sent you to do that negotiating for him again? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll tell you if you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt first. Okay. Um, I don't think I've actually found... Because time is... Time is Pearl, right? I don't think I've actually found the Pearl Clan's home. Time is Diamond. Okay, never mind. I do know where that is then. Still need to get the Boisel. I don't, I feel like this shouldn't be this hard. Near the last one some people finish? Yeah. I can see that being the case. Um, research level five. Yeah, we'll get that eventually. I need to go catch some silkoons. Oh, well, that's one. Guess I gotta catch more Eevees as well. Uh, so use flamethrower, use Agile styles plus baby doll eyes. Okay. Oh, where's Gollum? Um, Alpha is defeated. Use stealth rock, use double edge and strong. Okay. Cherum. I should be able to do that one now. I think I got... Oh, maybe I don't have enough wood yet. No, I've got... Th I've got one in storage. Can I talk to you? Can I buy wood from you? Of course not. Willow Wisp. 
Gather Wisps, Rosalia. I'll get that eventually. Deliver that. That's where I, I need to go there, so that'll be perfect, actually. You're right, I might be able to from the other shot. Let's see. No. No, they don't have wood either. Wait, what was that? Doppel bonnets. Yes, I want that tub. I want to spend 20,000 on a tub. Okay. Sent to my quarters. <laughs> oh my god. It's a mot washing machine. Oh my god, that's funny. My guess is it's for Rodom. No! Hey, Polar. This gentleman is Warren Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He'll guide you to her domain. Pleased to meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's save us. Have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know? Like me. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. May traveling with you help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Polar. Good luck up in the Highlands. So anytime you guys mechanical, you want to get it because it's for form changes. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Pachirisu is almost strong enough to take on that fight. Oh, I should have checked. I can always fast travel from inside. Oh, there's another thing up there. Oh, don't know why I have that. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that we're not the only one. So you found a cure for my Psyduck? Let's give it a shot. Wow, the Psyduck look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. And what did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, 
The Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. Nice, nice. Whoops. There was also Annabelle in Sun Moon. Wait, is Ingo from one of the other games? Oh, you mean uh, someone in Sun and Moon, someone comes from another dimension. Oh, he's a battle train conductor from Black White? I didn't do the battle train. Well, like, I started it, but it's not like I finished it. And it's been so long since I played Black and White. That's interesting. So I guess I just have to ride Ursaluna. Oh, right. I forgot about the unknown. I was just starting the next mission. <laughs> okay, yes, the unknown. Within the settlement where time rules. Problem is, I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to do to make the unknown come out. I want to go in the houses. Look high and low, but we're gamers. Gamers don't look up. Oh, hey, the sun. Well, yeah, I only saw the sun because I actively was looking up because I said we don't look up. I keep getting close to it. It's the old man, isn't it? Other side? Oh! 
sweet. I got an unknown. Okay. Turn your eyes up at the... Volcano Island. Okay, well, that's not where we are, so... Um, our current... Right on Ursa Luna, we follow the blue signals to locate Wanda in the Crimson Mirelands. Looking for blue signals. Boy, I'm just going to be waiting around forever for blue, aren't I? That was blue. person another real live human being oh thank goodness i was on my way back to the base camp when i got attacked by some wild pokemon i managed to get away from them but i got completely lost when i was running and um please can you tell me how to get back home that way i see thank you so much no no or i mean this way right of course i know you meant this direction Okay, we'll report that back to Zeke. Ooh, a space time. Should definitely check that out, but first. Magikarp. Find the charm. That seems rough. Oh, well, never mind then. Oh, that's a big gold duck. How?
But is it gonna spawn the actual Pokemon that I'm that's different? These aren't the interesting Pokemon, or is that just, is that not every time? Oh. Okay, well in the meantime, go talk to this person again. Up until that Alpha Hippodon came after you. Okay, so my guess is that um, I need to find the Alpha Hippodon and use this little guy to do the thing. Okay, so there's the Alpha. Um, I don't have any Pokemon that are like particularly strong against him. I saw a shiny here. Oh no, another Hippodon. How dare you bite business? Wow. Sure or something taking on a big angry hippodon like that that wasn't even the alpha one wait what's that lying over there my charm it's really you welcome back it means a lot to me that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that hippodon on my behalf you better believe i won't be losing this charm again not after you went to all that trouble to get it back to me
Where'd I get this link cable from? Weird. Well, that looks more like it. Nothing special. I didn't even all. Oh. Hex, thank you so much for the 75 bits. How do I not have more? Get rid of that. Ow. Excuse me, game. Oh. Dang it. Let's get outside of here for a second. Okay, uh, go to our satchel. Um, okay, well, let's, yeah, you're right, let's discard that. We'll discard these, because who cares? Okay, give it a second for me to regain myself. Don't you dare attack me while I'm outside the zone. That'd be rude. Uh, what? Yeah, there was this thing. Oh, that's a Snorlax. Oh! You have a fair Pokemon Hex? Not particularly. Oh, well. Protector. Oh. 
Uh, oh, wow, that's level 47, isn't it? No, we're not going to use a heavy ball. We're going to use the leaden ball. Day was okay up until the last bit of the end of work. Aw, rude. Well. Bandit's game pumped. Bandit died. What's your favorite anime? What's your favorite anime there, scenario? Maybe saying doesn't sound too bad. The Special Duty Combat Unit Shines Man. I don't know what that is. Come on, Snorlax. Power Rangers parody where they're all office workers? Oh, of course that did barely anything. That sounds pretty funny, actually. There we go. Any more items? That, that. Whoa! Porygon, Porygon Z, Porygon to rib on B. It's only two episodes long. Hmm. Ah! I don't have any water types. Oh, well, there that goes. Yeah, you got Rowlet, Oshawott, and Cyndaquil, and their final evolutions are, are uh, oh! Oh, hey, look at that. Their final evolutions are all uh, region variants. So it's a uh, Hisui evolution. Oh, hey, Gumi. Uh, excuse me. I heard you. Oh, now you want to fight.
Okay. We're just gonna... Ow. No, it's, it's fine, whatever you are. I'm just gonna grab this, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye! <laughs> ah, you can't reach me. Ah! Ow. Oh. Rude. Need Pachirisu to get stronger. This was a bad choice, apparently. Oh, nice. You can't paralyze him. Oh, but you can't put him to sleep. That's rude. Do I have anything that can wake you up? Radish has COVID? Oh no! Aw oh, dang, that sucks. Okay, the Pachirisu is now at level 30, so I think I can do the, uh, do the battle with Pachirisu. Um, is there any other here? We'll battle that one. Gotta talk to that one. Magikarp. Mistrevis. I don't even know where Mistrevis is. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, throw in, move all at once, move all at once. Move, move, don't even know where I got the link cable from. I can't actually have my Pokemon except for the patch of resale.
Watch and learn, sir. That's just rude. Well, that's really cool if they got all the actors after that. Thank gosh. No, oh, I can't risk that. Come on, just don't use bulldoze one. I feel like I can do it. My God. Okay, new plan, new plan. Here's the plan. We use that defense boost ability. And by ability, I mean item.
No! Oh my god! That is so disappointing. Graveler's done. I didn't even realize that I didn't have Graveler done. Okay, missions. Salia. Port back to Zeke for that one. Magikarp. East Shellos and a West Sea Shellos. Okay. Now what? That's a... Kinda looked like a turt twig. Well, need to get shallows from the east and the west. I can get a lost satchel. Okay, time to find ourselves a shallows. Uh, don't think there's any actually out on here. Hi, Teddy. Radish has COVID. Radish has COVID? Radish. 
you get COVID. Turnip doesn't though, so. I don't know. Um, those are quillfish, not shallows. They're supposed to be happy, not angry. Making some tea? Would not want to go in the cold. Mm. Hot chocolate's been nice though. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to. No, that's fine. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, it's Yorick. So stay away. Away, stay. Why is this Pokemon talking? Talk, talk. All right. Far from it. Help me. Help me. Rapa. Nasty plot. I like the texture on my hair. Roost, that's rude. Slash. Oh my gosh, please. Can I not catch this thing?
No. Thank God I don't know if I'd survived without you. No one told me they'd be talking about that talk like people out here. What a fright. Back where I grew up, folks often said that if you hear someone talk when some when nobody's around, it's not a ghost playing tricks. It's just the chat hut. Anyway, thank you kindly for finding York. I'll have him set up camp now. Oh, I just wasted a bunch of Pokeballs, didn't I? All finished. Shaffle's voice are making me was just my imagination. Are oh, you big time young Survey Corps recruit? Come take a rest here at camp anytime you like. What a spendly scenic base camp. This ought to be quite convenient for surveying Pokemon that live on the waterfront. Yeah, probably. I should rest, considering what just happened. Okay, we'll grab this shallows. Oh. Of course you have ancient power. Why wouldn't you have ancient power? There we go. It's one shallows. It's not what I meant to do, but it works. Oh dear gosh. Away we go. Now I just gotta get a shallows from over here, which it's almost nighttime, which of course means that we're not gonna be able to, but that's okay. No, there they are. I didn't think that would actually work. Uh, 
That's fine. Big Gastrodon. We're also just going to quickly go check the volcano since we're here. I was trying to attack. Oh, you're like dying. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Uh, is there any special fire Pokemon while it's nighttime? That's a Magmar. Oh, there's a Nine Tails over there. Again, the lack of fire of water Pokemon is kind of screwing me over right now. Get the throw. Close. Come on. Go for the cake. Really? I think I'm just too far. Awesome. Oh, that's level 61, huh? Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Okay, well, I mean, that wasn't great. Let's just throw in some bandit, you know? Okay. 
We should be faster. So we'll throw in a leaf blade. And by Latimant, triple arrow. Put it in the red. Oh, a strong style. Well, I mean, that's not great. Get a great ball in there. Hey, we did it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yay! Got our second unknown. Next one. Look to the ruined pillars of Celestica. Celestica. Hmm, someone's been playing Celeste. mistake that got rid of the thing didn't it no it's still forming good 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 sure balloon race in the coastlands I can do it Doing good. No. There we go. Got all of them. One second to spare. Burst 40. P perfection. You popped every single balloon. You're definitely a balloon busting boss, that's for sure, and that means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. Nice. Nice.
Oh, I got Ultra Balls. I have no room. Forgot to put the iron in. Didn't think doing the quest would get rid of it. You're part of the Survey Corps, right? Could you help me out? It seems this Pokemon's so hungry that it can barely even move. I tried giving it food, but it wouldn't take a bite. I don't know if it's being stubborn or what. It showed some interest in plump beans, but it still wouldn't eat them. We could use crafting. Bean cakes will do the tricks. Bean cake. I don't even know how to make one of those. Guess let's head back. Oh, Patrice is done. I just need to beat that stupid thing. Turn to the village, please. City and field lands. Where are the shallows in this area? Probably Ramanus Island. Oh, 
Or maybe even just like... No, yeah, it must be. that big Snorlax. Oh, this is where the Chimchar is. In the Inferni. That's just unfortunate. Haha! This is unfortunate for me. Oh, wow. Really? Well, unfortunately, an Infernape, uh, Alpha Infernape just killed itself. But I did get the, um, Pokemon I needed, so I can turn in this quest. I haven't done any of the story today. <laughs> this has just been a very much... We're doing side quests today. Also, oh, I've done Shellos too. That's very nice. Pretty soon a lot of the... Uh, 
quests I'm going to have are going to be just completed Pokedex entries, so that'll take a little bit. Yes, the pink one first. Quite beyond me why shells would have different colors, but I think it's absolutely charming that they change things up depending on where they live. We here in Jubilee Village all have also journeyed far from where we used to live. Maybe a change in the color of our clothing is what we need, just like shells. Yes, I've got it. I took advantage of my inspiration I was feeling and expanded my lineup. I would be very pleased if you would have a look. Catch a worm it on. Some bowler hats. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Sure, we can go with the purple. Yes, let's wear the cropped pant like cropped shorts with for the snow. Do we want to go all purple? I don't think so. Maybe go with the black. Some fancy boots. There we go, snow boots. We'll grab the amethyst to match the top. Just regular eyeglasses, monocles, tinted glasses, snow goggle. Oh, those are ugly. We'll go with the dark slate snow goggles. Was there a hat I missed as well? Oh, I did. There's the warm cap. Oh, no, I'm just short on money. Okay, we'll be right back. Double check. Do you have another like washing machine for me? No? Okay.
Awesome. Okay, back to quests. Cherim, Keshi Doll, Willow Wisp, Willow Wisp, Rosalia, Pachirisu. Port back to Zeke. You don't? That's weird, because I certainly do. Wanted to make it back home safe. Boy, am I ever glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. Wanda's still new to the security corps, you understand? She's a bit flat, flighty at the best of times, so I can't help but worry about her. If it's not asking too much, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Zeke. You're embarrassing me. I just got unlucky this time. That's all it was. That's what you'd have me believe, but ever since we were kids, the inside took my eyes off of you, you'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. Well, anyway, Polar, I do appreciate all your help, so thank you for me, too. There, I can keep one more item. Two more items. Flora from the construction corps is looking for some advice, but involving just Evie. Let an ear to the old chap and see if he can be of any assistance. Carp. Find a Pokemon with a scythe on each arm. I was just over there. I didn't see it. Weird. Oh, that is out there somewhere. Right in the middle of town. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a Scyther, but I didn't see a Scyther on Ramana's Island. Oh, stars above. Where is he gone? Survey Corps kid, listen. Remember the Eevee I befriended with the help of some Jubilife muffins? Well, he's vanished. I was hoping to get some advice on involving him. But I can't involve the little guy if he's gone. Please help me find Eevee. Come to think of it, the folks working at Galaxy Hall were always fussing over Eevee. Hey, that'd be a good place to start looking. You like Scyther's... You like Scizor? Is Wanda gone again? Oh my god. Literally just found her. Oh. You're an Umbreon now. Oh, I guess not. My mistake. It seems like Eevee's not here either. Something about this Pokemon reminds me of good little Eevee. No, no. Must be my imagination. Bree, bree. What's that? Hungry, are we? Survey Corps kid, would you make me a Jubilife muffin? If I can watch this Pokemon chow down like Eevee did, maybe I'll understand this nagging feeling I get when I look at it. 
Sir, it's just that that's a evolution. That is okay. That is Umbreon. Umbreon evolves at from Eevee with high friendship at night. Oh man, looks like I need to go give myself some, uh, do some, uh, hunting for some items. mind partying with a Jubilife muffin? Brah! Look at it chow down. It really is a spitting image of Eevee when it does that. Or could it somehow be the real Eevee? Bree! Eevee, it is you. I've missed you, little rascal. Oh, I got a rare candy. Nice. Never thought you'd evolve on your own. I suppose the professor did mention how Eevee can evolve even without any stone at all. I suppose I haven't got much use now for these evolution stones I set aside for Eevee. I'd like you to have one of them, lad. Which would you like? Uh, I have fire stones. I know that. I'll take a... Th I'll take a water stone. Okay. Okay, Ramos Island, Octillery, Bean Cake, Machoke. Catch a combi on Ramon another Ramonus Island. Wanda in the coastlands. Find Mistrevis. Crunchy salt. Okay. Um we got to get back to Romanus Island, apparently. Faster just to teleport here and then go there. Okay, so I'm looking for a combi as well as... Um... A Scyther. Just to make sure, I'm going to choose the Scyther one. Oh, 
Oh, it's not that the Scyther is on Romanus Island. Oh, I just need to find. Oh, I need to find a Scyther. Okay, I misunderstood that. Um. Okay, but this one definitely says catch a combi on the island. seen any combi here though there's chimchars for those shinxes uh no they're probably starlies uh we also have some shallows here There's Shinxes in the Obsidian Fieldlands, though. They're just on the mainland. Isn't any combi here? I don't know I'm here. Yeah, you get to go first all the time, I know. There's some honey. I just gotta hope it doesn't hit me. As I said, I just gotta hope that it doesn't hit me. Why do you have that? Firefighting. Why it had a rock, I actually don't know, though. Oh, of course you get to go first. Oh, 
Oh, damage by recoil. That's not bad, though. If I can get one more Pokeball thrown. Well, that was my only shot. There's some honey here. Wait, why do I saw this on me? That's our most useful. Oh, Sapphire can level up. Nice. There's honey here, but just no combi. I think there's combi across the path, though. There's some Baneri. Health a lot, buddy. Oh, a log. I don't know if you're going to count. Ooh, a mossy rock. I need you. Excuse me. Really? Uh, Mossy Rock lets you evolve um, Eevee into Leafeon, the best evolution. Oh, speaking of evolution, um, let me double check that I'm done Ponyta. No, I don't want... I want all. There we go. Oh, we're getting there. Just gotta see... It. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Need to use some strong style moves. If I do one strong style move, I'm actually done Decidueye. Nice. Oh, that actually will do it. Okay, yeah, we're done with Pointa. Okay. Very nice. Okay, Bandit. I need you to fight. Okay, Bandit should now be done.
Yeah, so the Mossy Rock is for evolving into Leafeon, and then there's also one for evolving into Glaceon. It's an ice rock. Probably fine in the next area, actually. I think I need to catch some of you still. Number caught, number of times I've seen it use flash, number evolved, number of times I've given it food. Do you not like that? Okay then. Can I see you use Flash? And by that I mean Splash. Yay! Thank you! I'd like that one more time, please. I think the water looks pretty nice in this game. Whoa, you're a big one. Oh, you're an alpha. I got different forms. Interesting. Ten levels higher than me. Magic card is pretty good. I wish I had gotten that alpha though. Having an alpha Gyarados would have been awesome. Like I guess technically I can. It should always like it should respawn. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna get waterfall eventually. Is there anything behind here? No. Hasn't respawned yet. Dang it.
Oh. Gotta grab those when I see them. Wish you were a Blazel instead of a Floatzel. Is that the last piece of wood I need? Oh no, you don't look that big. can hope. Oh, I'm back on the main area. Whoops. Oh, might as well just run up here. Do a quick heal. Silicon's done, Beautifly is done. Oh, I was so close. Dang it. So I didn't actually do any of the things I set out to back here. I wasn't able to get that combi. And I wasn't able to get the thing. But we'll go over there just in case. Oh, I misunderstood what that was. That was a waste. I can't, because those don't exist, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Okay, um, uh, is there anything else I can really, like, do? Oh, I can make the Pokeshi doll now. Now, who do I give that to? You. Oh, what's this? Well, that's a Pokeshi doll if I ever saw one. Please let me have a closer look. Amazing! Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors! You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. 
Not to mention this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Ooh, thank you. I've saved your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We used the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Probably not at all. If we're being honest. All right, well, let's go out to the... Oh, wait. Craft. Well, that's just mean. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Corone Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock type and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy boulder student heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space time, is the peak of Mount Corone itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, I guess. Oh wow, there's a lot of satchels out here. X-ray, Parasect, Golbats. Catch two more of you. That's one.
And there should be two, which means we are done Zubat. Wow, you escaped. Good for you. Ow. Oh, there you heard me. Just gonna move out of the way. Thank you. Bats. I don't know if this is just the nighttime Pokemons. Oh, never mind. Do I have any Parasect? I do. Really should be using different Pokemon. Strong Swift. Rude. How dare you hurt? How dare you hurt Serenity? Can't remember if I need Agile or not for you. Well, it looks like this place really is just filled with Golbat. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall, but its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around, it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. Must be difficult to be in a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Octrode. Then becoming frenzy to boot. So true, it's tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well, Wardeningo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy team grown from before. You're punching well above your weight to, s to seek out the great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. Huh. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The Friends of our Nobles is nothing other than a mark of all my sinners' favor of, and protection. Why? 
because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway, if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do all of us a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! What a selfish outlook. Those frenzies caused the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it that you want to do, Polar? Press on. Very well. These tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneeze, Lord Polar, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you need to watch your step. Okay. I'm cool with that. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only we're here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Now that I've been told he's a part of the battle train, um, everything he says is just train puns. I'm sorry to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives in on my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be? Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness can be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and relit, turned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed, ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Oh, he had a chandelier? Nice, that's awesome. What do I need to do for you? Level 8. Defeat with ice. Defeat with psychic. See it use bite. See it use air cutter. Caught at night. Caught. I don't have any ice. Oh, rude. What? Dumb. Also, how are you doing, Minecraft trackers? Good, that's good. Glad to hear it. Professor Laventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. 
For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Okay, but first... Oh. Heracross! Wow, good for you! Duck. Oh no, you're shaking. A beam. Need to learn how to make a bean cake. I can see this is going to be a very winding area. Just go straight into throwing a Pokeball. Aerial Ace. Rude. No! Bandit! No! What? Are you kidding me? Why is Heracross so hard to catch? There we go. Jeez. No matter revives too. Gonna keep getting in our way. I 
What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Huh. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you lots have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way I gain past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Polar? I'll beat him. Go, Skunk Tank! Show those louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Wow! A fart joke! Well, that was easy. Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to Fort Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Oh, wrong voice. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could some have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I cannot remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Polar, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Polar? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing that strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that this space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh Realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Polar have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that test to Polar. Until next time, then. Okay, bye. Once we're through here, it'll be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste.
Bronzor. Don't have room in my satchel. Well, I suppose I don't. Well, that was unfortunate. I refuse to believe that Ursa Ring does not like honey cakes. Too much risk losing all these Pokemon. Okay, lost the heat, the burn, so that's good. Sorry, Serenity. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay. Ah, you're part of the Galaxy Team. I've been waiting. Came here since I heard you're all planning to set up a camp. 
but it seems not much progress was made since that Bronzong is getting in the way. Bronzor. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you can find out what it is Bronzor wants? Soar! Is there something over that way? Alright, thank you for stopping in, Hex. Hope you get a good sleep. Ooh. But of course, I think it's up there. There's no ditto in here. Zor. So Zor. Zor. Uh, lady, you're inside of it. I saw a bronze or go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the... That bronze or it's wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. There, that should do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. Zor! Zor Zor! Seems that Bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon. They call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fire, fine lineup of wear stock for you, so please buy anything that you need. Uh, and it seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long. Hi. Goodbye. And she's not actually here. Um, so let's check. Said your eyes done. Rapidash, okay. Alphas, catching E. Defeated, defeated water type, fire blast, strong. So I need strong and fire blast. Evolve my one Eevee that I have in my box, then I'm done. So I could do that quick. Okay, now I should be able to move one. Uh, it'd be cool if you could actually have seen like the stone there or something. Oh.
Vaporeon. There, that'll get that up. We're almost done on that one. That one's done. That one's almost done. Uh, but those aren't the ones we care about right now. I need the ones in my team. Eight. Um, double edge. Do I have double edge? I do. And if I do that once, it's done. So let me go find a Pokemon quick. Switch to Sapphire Fire. Strong Fire Blast. Okay, that one's done. I think that'll be all the ones in my party then. Nice, got some money. Zubat. Oh, I wasn't done Luxio before? That's weird. I wasn't done Luxray either? Okay. Strange. Okay, time to switch out Pokemon. We're done bismuth. Um, so what is the next Pokemon in our list to do? I don't have that. I do have a Dust Talks, I think.
Okay. We will name our dust ox. To Mothman. Very nice. So, uh, we will now... We're gonna end here tonight, so let's get out all our Pokemons. Yeah! And we're almost done. Uh, Pachirisu, once we're done that quest. And these ones are all are gonna be done soon. Then this is our main team right here. So yeah. We shall now properly save. Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming in here tonight. Had a lot of fun with this. I hope you did too. Um, we will be back again with this as soon as we can. Um, and until then, I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.